So if you've ever gotten into Auto Hotkey, you almost certainly started by recording mouse clicks and sending keystrokes, right? I mean, it makes sense, it's intuitive. But listen, if you wanna build automations that are actually reliable, the kind you can trust and even share, you have to stop clicking like a human because there is a much, much smarter way to do things. Tell me if this sounds familiar. You spend, I don't know, an hour, maybe more, getting a script just perfect. It's working flawlessly. And then the next day, a window is just a few pixels off or maybe your screen resolution changes and the whole thing just collapses. It's so frustrating. But here's the good news. It's a completely solvable problem. Okay, so it really all boils down to two very different ways of thinking. Over here, you have the human-like clicks. Yeah, they seem easy at first, but they are fragile and pretty slow. And on the other side, you've got what we call API-style commands. Now, these are robust, they're fast, and they are the secret to professional-level automation. Getting this one difference is, well, it's everything. All right, let's get into the weeds a bit. Why exactly does that simple, intuitive approach cause so much pain? It really comes down to a few major weaknesses that are just baked right into that method. You can see how this all just falls apart. Your click is based on a screen position, so if a window moves an inch, it fails. You have timing issues, maybe a bit of network lag, and now your script is clicking on an empty space before the button has even loaded. And oh man, we've all been there. You alt-tab at the wrong second and your script starts typing your password into a public chat window. This whole method is just unreliable because it's counting on your screen to be perfectly frozen in time, and let's be real, it never is. But enough doom and gloom. Let's talk about the solution. It just takes a small but powerful shift in how you think moving from just mimicking a person to adopting what we call an API-first mindset. This is how you build automations that actually, you know, work. Look, the term API can sound super technical and scary, but the idea behind it is so simple and so powerful. Instead of telling your mouse, hey, go to coordinate 500 by 350 and click, you're telling the program directly, hey, you, execute your save command. You're completely bypassing the screen, the user interface, and talking straight to the program's brain. It's literally the difference between pointing at a picture on a foreign menu and just speaking the language to order exactly what you want. So how do you actually do this? How do you speak a program's native language? Well, the cool thing is, AutoHotKey comes with an incredible toolbox for this. And it's way more accessible than you'd think. These three things right here, they're going to be your new best friends. First up, COM objects. They let you control programs like Excel or Word without them even being visible. You can be writing to a spreadsheet in the background. Second, send message and post message. This is how Windows itself talks to programs. It's incredibly reliable. And third, UI automation or UIA. This lets your script find a button by its name, like save, and click it no matter where it is on the screen. No more pixel hunting. Now. I know what you might be thinking, this sounds really complicated, but that's the magic. You don't have to be some hardcore coder. I love this quote because it hits the nail on the head. The people who made AutoHotKey have already done the hard part. They've wrapped up all these complex functions into simple commands, making them easy for the rest of us to use. So is it really worth that little bit of extra effort to learn this new way? Oh yeah, absolutely. The payoff you get is enormous and it will fundamentally change how you build things. I mean, just look at this. It's night and day. With API commands, your reliability is sky high because you're not guessing anymore. The speed is amazing because you're not waiting for stuff to appear on screen. Maintenance is low because your scripts don't break every time a developer moves a button. And my absolute favorite part, they work even when the program is minimized or completely hidden. You can have a script chugging away in the background while you're watching videos. It's a total game changer. Let me put it this way. It might take you, what, 10% more effort up front to find a button's real name instead of its screen coordinates, but the reward you get for that tiny bit of work is a 100% improvement in reliability and speed. That is probably the best return on investment you will ever get in automation. Okay, let's have a quick reality check. This isn't about being some kind of snob who says, never click. No way. There are definitely times when sending a simple click is the right tool for the job. 
Being smart about this means knowing when to use which approach. So think of this as your quick little checklist. If you're trying to automate some ancient program that has no API, or you're just building a quick and dirty script that you're going to throw away tomorrow, then go for it. Click away. If you need something done in the next 30 seconds and you're okay with the fact that it might break, that's fine. But for everything else, for any script you want to be durable, reliable, and professional, you got to think API first. So there you have it. That's the journey from being a fragile clicker to becoming a true scripting ninja. You now have the mindset and the tools to build automations that aren't just powerful, but are also seriously robust. So the only question left is, what awesome bulletproof script are you going to build first?